we have successfully implemented tool calling where the AI can check the weather for any city. But what if the user's question requires more than one tool to answer? Think about the scenario. Someone asks, what's the weather like for Bruce Wayne? To answer this question, the AI needs to do two things. First, figure out where Bruce Wayne lives. Then, get the weather for that location. This requires calling multiple tools in sequence with the output of one tool becoming the input for another. This is called multi-step tool calling and it is incredibly powerful. The AI can chain tools together to solve complex problems. Here is a visualization of multi-step tool calling. When the user asks what's the weather for Bruce Wayne, the AI first extracts the name Bruce Wayne from the user's question. Then it calls the get location tool to find where Bruce Wayne lives. The tool returns Gotham City and the AI passes that to the get weather tool to get the weather for Gotham City. The tool returns 60 degrees and cloudy and the AI uses this information to respond to the user's question in a natural way. If this is clear, let's see how to implement this in code. We will duplicate the code written for tools and make the necessary changes to support multi-step tool calling. In the API folder, create a new folder called multiple tools, copy the route handler from the tools folder and paste it into this new multiple tools folder. Similarly, in the app slash UI folder, create a new folder called multiple tools. Copy the page.tsx file from the tools folder and paste it into this new multiple tools folder. Rename the component to multiple tools chat page and update the API endpoint to slash API slash multiple tools. Perfect. Now, if you open the route handler, you will see we already have our weather tool, which accepts a city name and returns the weather for that city. Let's add a second tool that can find where someone lives. So in the tools object, before the get weather tool, let's define a new tool. We'll call this one get location. Let's define it step by step. First, add the description. Get the location of a user. This tells the AI that the tool can find where someone lives. Next, define the input schema. This is Zod object. This tool needs a name parameter, and this is of type string. So z.string.describe the name of the user. The AI will pass the person's name to find their location. Finally, add the execute function. This is an async function, the argument object with name, and the function returns the city where the username lives. Once again, we will use hard-coded data to keep things simple, but in a real app, you might query a database or a user's directory. If name is equal to Bruce Wayne, return a string Gotham City. Else if name is equal to Clark Kent, return Metropolis. Else, we return unknown. So now our tools object has two tools, get location and get weather. The order doesn't matter functionally, but it reads better this way since we'll call location first and then weather. Now here's the crucial part. Remember how we set step count to two to allow the AI to call one tool and respond? Well, now we need more steps. Step one, call get location to find where Bruce Wayne lives. Step two, call get weather with that location. Step three, generate the final response to the user's question. We need three steps in total. So let's update the stream text call, stop when step count is three. This allows the AI to chain multiple tool calls together. The number really depends on how many tools you have and how many steps the AI needs to take to answer the user's question. For our example, three steps is sufficient. All right, our route handler is now ready. Head over to page.tsx to update the UI to show both tools. In the message parts rendering, we already handle tool get weather parts. Now we need to handle tool get location parts too. So before tool get weather, let's add a new case. Case tool get location. We see a TypeScript error because our chat message import is still from the tools folder. Update this 
to multiple tools and the TypeScript error should be fixed. For tool get location, we will add a new switch statement to handle the part state. The default case, we will return null. For the first case, we will start with input streaming. I will paste the code since we've already gone through this for get weather tool. So case input streaming, we have a div tag with a key prop, tailwind classes. We have a nested div with the text receiving location request. And for development purpose, we render part.input. This is the streaming parameter. The second case is input available. Once again, return a div with the key prop and class name. We now have access to the name input parameter. So the text reads getting location for part.input.name. And the name here can be Bruce Wayne or Clark Kent. We are basically showing whose location we are looking up. The next case is output available. So return a div tag with key and class name, the inner div, location found, and then we output part.output. In our case, it will be Gotham City for Bruce Wayne and Metropolis for Clark Kent. Finally, handle errors. So case output error, we return a div with a key prop and class name, and the inner div in red color, we render the error message. As I mentioned previously, the pattern for rendering the UI states for a tool call will remain the same. All right, it's time for the exciting part, testing. Navigate to localhost 3000 slash UI slash multiple tools and ask the question, what's the weather for Bruce Wayne? You should see the UI reflecting multiple tool calls. The first one is the location tool and the second one is the weather tool. Finally, the AI responds to the user's question in a natural way. I found Bruce Wayne's location as Gotham City. Current conditions there, 70 degree Fahrenheit and cloudy. Try another one. What's the weather for Clark Kent? It's the same process. The AI calls get location with Clark Kent, gets back Metropolis, then calls get weather with Metropolis. We see the final response from AI. Clark Kent's location is Metropolis, current conditions 80 and sunny. And here's something interesting. If I refresh and ask, what's the weather in Gotham City directly, the AI only calls the weather tool. It's smart enough to know it doesn't need the location tool when you already provide the city. The AI only uses tools it needs even when multiple tools are available. The powerful thing about multi-step tool calling is that we don't explicitly program the sequences. We don't write code that says, if the user asks about weather for a person, first call get location, then call get weather. Instead, we just define the tools and their capabilities. The AI figures out which tools to use, what order to call them in, how to pass data between tools, and how to combine the results. This is called tool orchestration, and it's one of the most powerful features of modern AI systems. The AI becomes like a conductor coordinating multiple tools to achieve a goal. We have successfully implemented multi-step tool calling. Starting with our single weather tool, we added a location tool that can find where people live. By increasing the step count to three, we enable the AI to chain these tools together. The UI shows the complete flow of multiple tools, giving users visibility into the AI's problem solving process. They can see how the AI breaks down the complex questions into smaller steps, uses different tools for each step, and combines the results. This pattern scales to any number of tools, whether you're building a customer service bot that needs to check orders, inventory, and shipping, or a research assistant that searches multiple databases, the same principles apply. Define your tools, give the AI enough steps, and let it orchestrate the solution.